I love my Voltec VT10i, but it pushes the limits of portability just a bit. It's gotten the job done, but sometimes I want something smaller, lighter, and all around more portable. That's where the LifePod comes in. More specifically, the Coleon Noir Edition Pew Pew Life LifePod. In short, the LifePod is a lockable, water-resistant, dust-proof, airtight, lightweight lifestyle case that can float. The LifePod is lifestyle neutral in that its use is limited only by your creativity. You can put your phone, wallet, watch, money, passport, knife, condoms, flask, AirPods, diamond encrusted 300 blackout bullet chains, you name it. You can put just about anything in here within reason. However, I mainly use it as my lightweight travel gun safe. So that's my focus of the Coleon Noir Edition LifePod. Aesthetically, the LifePod is pretty simple or minimal if you want to be all hipster about it, or if your name is Coleon Noir and you have a penchant for engaging in unnecessary similes and inappropriate analogies, yet the LifePod just looks cool. Even if you have no idea what it does, it just has a certain aesthetic appeal to it. Take the black camouflage grid pattern on the top of the cover. It's just a bunch of lines crisscrossing each other. But there's something so visually satisfying about it, and I think it has a lot to do with the texture in combination with the shape and lines of the life pod that make it so aesthetically appealing. Besides, who doesn't like black digitized camo? My life pod is about protecting my gun and whatever valuables I decide to put in it while still being able to take it with me just about anywhere. From a security standpoint, I can lock and unlock this case in two ways electronically using the recess number keypad or manually using a key. The recess numbered keypad look and feel rubbery soft, so much so that they don't even look functional. However, I swear I get a small endorphin spike every time I tap the center lock keypad and see the numbers light up in bright red. The LifePod takes a nine volt alkaline battery and has a battery life of up to one year. I can check the status of the battery by tapping the center lock key, causing the battery indicator to light up, giving you a green or red indication of battery status. If my life pod happens to die while the case is locked, I can power the case by using the micro USB port on the front of the case. To lock the life pod electronically, I simply close the lid and hold it down, then press the lock on the keypad for two seconds. To unlock the life pod electronically, I press the lock on the keypad to wake it up and then input my code. To lock the life pod manually, I pull open the tab on the front of the case exposing the manual key lock. I insert the key, twist, and the case opens. To lock the safe manually, I hold down the lid and turn the key. Now, if someone wants to get slick and wants to try to pick the lock, I can actually lock the lock from the inside so the lock can't turn at all. This means the only way I can open the life pod is through the keypad. I'm gonna be honest with you, most of the time I keep the lock locked. If my battery dies, I'll power it up using the micro USB port and unlock the manual lock until I can get a new battery. I'm not the biggest fan of leaving my gun and or valuables in my rental car or car period when I travel. However, sometimes I have to do it, especially in states where I can keep a gun in the car but not on my person. When I have to do this, I'll take the 19 inch cable that comes with the life pod and tie it to the bottom of my seat or if I have to leave it in my hotel room, I'll tie it to a permanent fixture. I'll then place whatever documents, money, keys, etc. in the organizer on the back of the lid and then place my gun in the bottom portion. Let's talk about environment. Water, air, dust, and external impacts are going to be the biggest environmental threats to my valuables inside of the life pod. That's where the dual compression latches, red rubber gasket seal, and high density foam interior come into play. After closing and locking the life pod, the two compression latches on the side of the life pod are used to clamp down on the red rubber gasket seal, creating an airtight seal on the inside of the life pod, giving it an IP65 water resistance rating and making it dust proof. Not to mention, the life pod will float with up to two pounds inside. When I'm less worried about someone running off with my life pod and more concerned with just keeping it in place when I'm engaging in all of my awesome tacular outdoor activities, I can just use the tether lanyard that is also included to keep my life pod in place. As I said before, there's a rugged simplistic beauty to the life pod, but it's not all looks. The case in and of itself is pretty damn rugged while still protecting the contents inside. The three piece high density foam plays a big part in this. 
The foam does a really good job of keeping everything in place while absorbing a lot of the shock from any impact the light pod may experience. The light pod has become one of my favorite lifestyle gadgets. I use it primarily to transport my guns when traveling, but the longer I own it, the more uses I find for it. Like I said, it's a lifestyle neutral case. Its only limits are your creativity. Right now, the Coleon Noir Life Pod is available at shop.mrcoleonnoir for $139.99 with free shipping. Click the link in the description section of this video to order today.